So welcome to a video about the rabbit. So this is a creature most people will be familiar with as it's a very well, cute creature and it's known as the European rabbit but it's also known as the common rabbit. So the European rabbit's native to Spain, Portugal and North West Africa but can be found basically all around the world in most countries and every continent except Antarctica and Sub-Saharan Africa. So in Britain the rabbit was introduced in the 12th century and was introduced by the Normans. It was introduced for um, their meat and their fur, but their populations got out of control. It's now very common in the UK, uh, especially in dry areas with very soft soil to burrow in. So when a rabbit burrows, they dig networks and these are called warrens. So in the warrens is where the rabbits have their young, and the young rabbits are born blind and without fur, which makes them extremely vulnerable to predation hence why they're born in the burrow underneath the soil. But then after eight months, the baby rabbit will be completely capable of having their, their own offspring, so they'll be fully grown and mature in just eight months. Um, rabbits also don't have a particular breeding season, so they have them throughout the year, and in each individual litter, they can have up to six uh, baby rabbits. So that means populations can grow very, very quickly. So a single pair of rabbits can increase to 184 rabbits in just 18 months. So this means that you can get loads of rabbits very quickly in a certain area which can put a lot of pressure on that uh, particular area for food which can cause environmental damage. And so depending on the gender and uh, age of the rabbit will depend on uh, technical terms they're given. So the male rabbits is known as a buck and the female rabbits also known as a doe. The older rabbits are also known as conies. So the rabbits weigh between one and a half and two and a half kilograms and they can grow between 38 and 50 centimeters long. So they're not heavy creatures, they're not quite big creatures. Most people have seen rabbits and they're quite small and they have a grey coat and they're paid a grey underside and they have fluffy white tails. This is why a lot of people find them cute. Uh, rabbits eat grasses, leaves, bark, roots and then uh, household vegetables like lettuce and cabbage. So many of these have quite a lot of indigestible material so rabbits have, have to eat their own uh, faeces to ensure they get enough nutrients. Uh, rabbits can live up to nine years in captivity but in the wild they often only make it to the second year of living because they are pretty low down on the food tents are preyed upon by hawks, foxes, canines and felines. Uh, rabbits are also very susceptible to the uh, mix and mitosis virus with almost eradicated rabbits in the UK. So in the 1950s this virus reduced the rabbit, UK rabbit population by approximately 90% but well the rabbits obviously recovered and now they are very, very common. If you go for a walk in the countryside, uh, you'll, you, it's very likely you'll see one. So when they sense danger, they will uh, thump the ground with their hind legs, and this basically tells all nearby rabbits that danger is coming, so tell them to run or hide. So the European rabbit is common in most areas they live, and in some areas they're not welcome there, they're considered pests. These areas often include farmland and often areas where the soil quality is quite poor and often prone to erosion. So when rabbits burrow, they scrape away this uh, soil to burrow underneath it and this can stop the soil from being able to support grass and crops. So because of the damage they cause and essentially their abundance in places they're not welcome, they're considered a pest. However, despite them being so common, they're considered near threatened by the IUCN Red List. And this is essentially just because the populations in Spain and Portugal, so where the rabbit's native, is going down to so their declining where they're native and increasing essentially everywhere else. So because they're declining in Spain and Portugal, this does have a pretty bad knock-on effect on other animals there. So predators like the Spanish Imperial Eagle and the Iberian Lynx are also uh, suffering in population uh, abundance appeared because one of their main food sources is decreasing. So there we have it. Uh, hopefully you've learned something about the European rabbit. So 
if you'd want to read about the European Rabbit, I do have a blog post, which will be linked in the description below. And then in this blog post will include further links to more, more information about the European Rabbit, including where I got a lot of my information from. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.